everyone, it's Monica with Scrap Saturdays and I'm just going to do a two page Valentine's Day layout to put up in my um, glass frame display. Um, I was talking about in my uh, tag your it video that I have this uh, Hello Doily um, Stampin' Up stamp which is awesome and I did most of my prep work before I turned on my video because I haven't really done a layout video before so I don't know how much time I need and I don't really plan anything out. I just kind of know what materials I want to use and what I sort of want it to look like. I cut out um, the rosette from my Cricut. I did a little boo-boo there with my hot glue gun but that's what I glued it with. I used my hot glue gun and I cut out a base of some polka dot um, glitter paper so that you can see through the middle. This is a Cane Company brad that I cut off the prongs and glued it down in there. And I love the way it turned out. This is just Recollections cardstock that I cut it out. And I cut four of these at two inches. And then I cut out the heart feature. So it's supposed to be like this but um, I wanted to put a brad in there. And you also get these little tiny little hearts that come out from them, so I saved a couple of those. I cut out this shape as well from the Ribbons and Rosettes cartridge. I don't know what it's called. Um, cut out my letters with my uh, school book cartridge, really old but I love um, the roly-poly letters. So I cut out the word love you, chose my pictures, um, stamped my doily like this with my VersaFine ink. Worked out really well. And then I used my Cutter B. Funny, I couldn't think of the name yesterday for my X-Acto knife, the Cutter B <laughs> scissors. And I mean, I did the best that I could. I'm going to distress the edges. I'm going to cut these in half anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And this is just using some Recollections cardstock as well. And I've just got all my stuff out. I've got some Graphic 45 Le Cirque paper remnants left over that I like. I think I want to use some of these on my layout. Um, but I'm not sure. We're just kind of doing it all together here. So I'm going to be working on... Um, oh, yes. And I have this one little piece of 8 by 8 sheet of Teresa Collins um, paper that I sometimes buy just loosely. And I'm just going to be doing two layouts for my um, frames like I was telling you. And I'm just sort of winging it. I have no rhyme or reason so um, this is just normally how I do it. I know I want to cut this up. And I'm going to cut up my doily too. And I think that's it for now. I'm going to use my Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Walnut Stain and I'm going to go over the edges. Just to soften up, you know, the cutting and whatnot. It always makes everything look a little bit neater, especially when you're detail cutting and trying to get it to look more like a die cut, like you purposely, you know, made it that way. So basically, I'm going to start with a photo of myself and my son, and this is from last spring. So like I tell you, I always scrapbook a year behind. So I don't know if that makes sense to any of you, but um, whatever goes up on my into my frames are always a year behind. So it's always, you know, um, what did we do last year, and, and that's what we look up, and that's what we see. and. I, I kind of like that. I like that, you know, we can look back and say, oh, you know, this is what we were doing then. And, and so this is just the way my brain works. I kind of don't have 
any real reason. I just kind of go with the flow and pick what I like. And So my two layouts will match each other. My first one will say love. I don't know why I work backwards, but I do. <laughs> And I believe I'm going to cut out a one inch strip of that coordinating paper. And again, honestly, this is just how I always do it, except there's really loud music <laughs> blaring in the background, but right now there isn't any because YouTube won't let me. Um, I think that's kind of sort of where I like it. I'm gonna cut this guy in half as well. just because I really like the shape of it. Not so much gonna use it for anything. Kinda gonna make like a little tab up there. I think that's nice. I might even stamp something on there with one of my um, Technique Tuesday stamps, cause I love them. And I love what they say all the time. I think Allie Edwards is my favorite for that. That's all I'm going to put. I'm just going to put the word beautiful. You guys let me know. I mean, I'm not sure. I guess I'll have to, you know, learn how to edit or do something like that. But I'm not really sure if you like these how-to videos or how I'm placing everything together. I will do my own journaling um, there afterwards as well. But this is basically what I like to do. I just like to do my own thing. Um, I love to scrap lift as well. So if you've got magazines and stuff that, you know, give you ideas, go for it. Don't be scared to um, try something out and, you know, give everything your best shot. Like, don't be afraid to copy because that's what people put out their stuff for. I mean, no, if they have a copyright and they don't want you doing it, that's totally different. But for most part, I do believe that, you know, that's, that's what we're sharing out there is, you know, our stuff. And so go ahead and don't be afraid to get inspiration and, and try something different for yourself. I think that's a lot of fun. Cutting up some of these stamps from the Graphic 45 leftover paper that I keep. I can throw away a lot of other scraps, but Graphic 45, I cannot. I think that's somewhat how I want it to be. I'm gonna have to match up those two because I stamped on the other one. And now my laying down process begins. going to leave a little bit of an edge where I can lift my photo just so that I can tuck my stuff underneath. And it never ends up exactly how I had it to begin with. Um, if you can do it, that's amazing. I personally cannot. <laughs> I'm not that good. But again, like I always tell you guys, I really, truly, honestly don't strive for perfection. It's 
just getting it done is all that matters to me. And then when I do have a lip that I don't like, I will go back with some liquid glue and bring those edges down again, gently. And I know I'm, I'm not sure, I can't see my uh, screen, I'm still using my older camera. Um, so you're going to have to bear with me with this video. If it doesn't turn out so great, I promise I will learn from my mistakes. But. And I'm doing this super fast because um, tomorrow is Valentine's Day and I didn't really get a chance this weekend to do everything that I wanted to do. I think I'm going to raise up um, that heart. In the middle and again this is a heart that came out of cutting the rosette with my Cricut and that's how it came up. I'm gonna hot glue down this rosette to my project because it's heavy embellishment and I want it to stay put. And I love this is the heart rosette that I cut out with that new um, cartridge and I love it. I love the detail on it and it was very easy to cut out. I did not have a problem. And again just bear with me that's just my brain working and where do I want stuff and how do I want it. raise this little guy too. Bring him up. I'm not sure what I want on this side. I didn't glue that down. That's good for my first one. Actually, I'd forgotten that I had some top notes here too. Yep.
So that'll be my second page. I'm sorry for the silence, but believe it or not, that's how my mind works. <laughs> makes me happy too. So again, I'm going to start by just putting everything down. Oh, that was really, really crooked. I'm trying to work around my camera stand as well so kudos to all you people if you're doing that when you make your videos because I don't realize how complicated that is until I have to do it myself. So I guess what what I do on this layout is something that I don't really normally do which is cut up you know things that I think are intended to be used fully or entirely. Um, cutting up stuff is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but from watching everybody else, they're cutting up everything. Die cuts, um, you name it. And so I think that's a little bit of a challenge to myself this year, is just letting go of that and cutting up a lot more of, you know, the die cuts that I do purchase and whatnot. So, um, I'm trying. I'm trying to do that. It's not easy because, um, I don't know, I was more of a neater type scrapbooker and this style just makes you think outside the box and it really makes you, you know, repurpose whatever you purchase. But I am okay with that. So again, I'm just raising this I cut up. That's way too much glue. I believe I'm going to raise that too. So I cut the heart out from my Cricut and it was supposed to be the center detail to the rosette. This is also cut out at two inches, so the same as what my rosette um, strips were cut out at. And that's the first time I used a cartridge and it cut beautifully. And I will be using that a lot more because I really enjoyed it. It was really, really awesome. It, I'm liking it. It's good, it's good, it's good. So, I didn't use any of my polka dot paper to balance it out. This is 
also the first time that I'm using so much white space. I generally don't do that. So I think that's another challenge too for myself. Use more white space. Don't be afraid of leaving it blank and enjoying it and letting it be. I am a very messy scrapbooker. I'm not neat and dainty. I get glue all over the place. My shirts are full of glue because I wipe my hands on my shirt. But I just love it. I get so excited. I'm so excited to display these. I still have to add some stickles to them. Whoa, that's a bad, oh. So very crooked. And I mean, you could have run your letters if you wanted to through your cuddle bug and given them more dimension like that. Um, the word wonderful. Again, using the same um, stamp set. I'm stamping the word amazing. my little block. I'll find it afterwards. No worries. So that's what I do. I like to go back with my stamps and do my thing and see my little missing spots and whatever else I want to add to it. So there you go. That's the gist of my two double layout. I will add some journaling to that and probably stamp up a little bit more um, here and there. And I have to add a feather somewhere in there. It's calling out my name. exactly there but I will be adding a feather so I hope you guys enjoyed it again bear with me it's my first time doing you know my layouts in front of you 
this is totally from you know the top of my head I will take pictures of the finished product and then post them onto my blog so you can see where I've added stickles and stuff like that um, thank you to all my subscribers please visit my blog um, it's scrapsaturdays.com and uh, enjoy my postings some of them are not only scrapbook related but just a little bit tidbits of my life and stuff like that so enjoy and make yourself a Valentine's Day layout about your love. These are my loves. And happy Valentine's Day to all of you.